First, though, Chris Raggy of the Saturday Early Show is at the news desk with this breaking news out of Georgia this morning. Good morning, Chris. Hey, Maggie, Harry, good morning to you and good morning to you at home. The freshly brokered truce that's supposed to end the fighting between Russia and Georgia is off to a rocky start. Georgia claims Russia violated the truce by moving tanks into the Georgian city of Gori this morning. Russia denies it. Sky News reporter Alex Rossi is in Tbilisi, Georgia's capital for us this morning. Alex, good morning. Good morning. Well, I can tell you that uh, the news that's breaking here is that there's been a significant escalation in this conflict despite attempts to broker a ceasefire. Russian tanks and armored personnel carriers are rolling into the undisputed Georgian city of Gori. So, Alex, what did happen with this truce that uh, we had heard so much about yesterday? Well, these reports, which have been denied by the uh, Russian Defense Ministry, but we've had confirmed by Sky reporters on the ground, they do seem to be in direct contravention of the peace treaty. Now, uh, what the peace treaty says is that both sides, the Georgians and the Russians, should fall back to the positions that they were occupying before the fighting started overnight, August the 6th, 7th. So the Russians aren't doing that. They are moving forward. Quite a few... Uh, few troops. They don't look particularly tense. They're sitting on top of those vehicles. Uh, they don't look as though they're ready to face any conflict or any threat. Their guns are pointing upwards and they seem very, very casual. Alex Rossi of Sky News in Tbilisi for us this morning. Alex, thank you. Now here's Harry with more on this developing story. Harry. Joining us from Tbilisi, Georgia's capital city, is the president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, sir. Please tell me, what is the situation in your country now? We are hearing conflicting reports about what is happening in Gori. We understand that the Russians are very active, even as we speak, in that town, not so many miles away from Tbilisi. Well, the situation is uh, dramatic. Uh, we are witnessing a new stage of full-blown Russian invasion and aggression against my country. And uh, uh, what we have the situation developing in three different fronts. First, in the Georgian uh, pro region of South Ossetia, where Russian tanks are going through villages inhabited by Georgian population and throwing people out of the houses, putting people into concentration camps that they are setting up in those villages, um, and separating men and women, and doing worse kind of atrocities unheard of since Balkans or since the war in Chechnya. Mm. Uh, the other thing is uh, Upper Abkhazia, in the region of Abkhazia, which is several hundred kilometers or miles away removed from the, the South Ossetia where they're going for villages again inhabited by Georgians and throwing out every single Georgian man, woman and ch children. And the third one is that they uh, moved into the uh, town of Gori and um, uh, rampaged through town, looted the town. These are regular Russian troops. They go into houses, they destroy houses. Uh, there is all this documentary fit footage around that can prove it. This mm -hmm. is not he said, she said. You know, it's, so we are lucky that uh, there are television stations around. And uh, they're taking things like you know, in furniture, toilet seats, killing people. Um, terrorizing people. What we are seeing now is deja vu from, you know, when uh, the Soviet Union was doing these mm. things in the past, when Czechoslovakia was invaded by Nazi mm -hmm. Germany after pact in Munich in 1938. So there should be two responses to the West. Either right. it's appeasement, like they did with uh, Germany uh, over Czechoslovakia, when Chamberlain, the then British Prime Minister, said, oh, we don't care about Czechoslovakia, it's far away country about which we know very little, or say that democracy is at stake. You know, you know I heard yesterday Senator Mc McCain saying, we are all Georgians now. I hope people understand that these are their values at stake. This is freedom in general at stake. This is not about some far away remote country of which we know little. I mean, the country, Georgia is a very, very modern, uh, normal country. President Mikhail Shakasvili, we thank you very much for your time this morning.